Hello, welcome to the next part of Crazy Cutouts. Now, as you can see on this one, the first step is you want to run the saw blade through one of the holes we drilled on the last step. But, you can see I've already cut out one of the cutouts. I'm going to do one of the smaller ones, just so it'll be a quicker demonstration. And also you can see that you want these ones are on the edges first, because you see how close it is there, I want to make sure there's enough room. Now the first step with this is once again running the saw blade through, and then lining it up on your bench pan. So, lube up your saw blade like always, this will make it less likely to break a saw blade and it would also be easier to saw. Once again, and then we'll re lube up again. I can feel a little more tension in the blade. Also, lets the blade cool off a little bit, which can also cause them to snap, which is never fun. go. Take off the saw blade. And this one fell right off. I mean, dust off my hands. I'll show it to you. Once again, putting all my dust on my dust collector here so I can use it for later purposes. And then, here we go. Second cutout done. That's the first one in the step, the second one in the step of mini, and this amount of silver can be used for something else. And I save all my cutouts to this side. Well, thank you very much.